Hello and welcome. Uh, Megan and I are going to go through a little bit of, of find files uh, in Teams and in SharePoint. It's one of the things that seems to come up a lot uh, in our discussion of Teams is, is the, the phrase, I can't find anything in Teams. So I think we have uh, developed some ways uh, or, or discovered some ways to find some things in Teams and maybe f files is one of those. So, Megan, if you would, why don't we navigate to Teams, and then let's see if we can do a, a file search, and we'll do it. We'll do it in Teams first. Uh, so maybe pick a pick a file that you you know should be in here someplace that uh, maybe you can use uh, a portion of the file name to to search. So, so on the left hand side, there there are messages. So these are the posts uh, and chat messages that have. Uh, the, the words GPUG planning in them. Uh, if you look at the top, uh, there's a, a little bit of a, a menu bar, if you will, that says messages, people, and files. Do you see that? Go ahead and click on files. All right, so this, this is one way to go and find files that, that you know a portion of the name uh, is there. Well, one of the things that I, I try to, to suggest to, to people within the organization is to, rather than just put files into the file space uh, in Teams, to go and put them in conversations or, or at least reference them in conversations because the conversations are pretty easy to search. However, if, if for some reason you only know the fire, file name or a portion of the file name, then the, the search bar, uh, the search field will actually give you files also. And Megan, does that seem reasonable? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, very good. Uh, have you have you tried searching for files before? Um, yes, not this. I've never done this easy okay. way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. All right, so I think up until this point, maybe you and I both might have searched for files, uh, ho hoping that they'd be referenced in a conversation someplace. So I think yeah. either way, either way, I think it's still important. Uh, to, to have those conversations uh, or posts in Teams to give the files some context so that you know what the file is for. If you just place a file out there, as sometimes you know, our folks do, you, you never know to look for them there uh, unless it was a conversation. Okay, very good. So now let's do this. How about if we uh, go ahead and pick a team of, I guess we could, we could use marketing if you like. And then uh, there is a files tab here. Let's go ahead and click on that. So what, what I noticed is that in this portion of the interface, there's, there's really nothing helpful here to do searches in Teams. Uh, so, so this file tab, while well, it's pretty useful to, to have you know, access this way, uh, you can access individual files that are in the root directory. Plus, you can also access some files that are in subdirectories. But what I will often do, if I create a subdirectory of files, I will try to create a, a folder with those files and then capture the link to the folder and put it in a conversation. So for our, our traction audio that I recently posted uh, into Teams, uh, I did I do that. I did uh, create a folder, put all the audio files in there, and then I found the, the link and then posted the link in a, in a chat or, or in, a, in a conversation. Okay, so now, uh, while uh, it's not clear how to search for files here, there is a, a open in SharePoint option. So go ahead and, and go to open in SharePoint. And then this interface is the, the classic you know, SharePoint interface. Um, however, what is sort of useful in here uh, is that I think there is a, a search option uh, and that that option at the very top where it says search this library, I think it might be the way to do this. So go ahead and, and you can use the same search possibly that you had used earlier. Okay, so all of the, the files that, that relate to this uh, term uh, appear. And if I'm not mistaken, what, what's also sort of interesting about this is that any files that have uh, this as content uh, also appear. So, so there's uh, that third third file on on the um, on the listing it says marketing lists XLSX. 
that that does not have gpug in the file name but there's a reasonable chance that it has gpug in the the file itself so why don't you open it real quick and let's see if that's true uh, do do a control f in the spreadsheet and see if you can find gpug in the spreadsheet someplace uh, go go and switch to another tab that that might possibly have it and let's see if this is true and do a control find as well okay good Okay, very good. So, so this is, I guess, double useful in the sense that it will pick up uh, uh, search terms in the file name, and then it will also pick up the, the search term within the file itself. Okay, make it any, any questions? No, I think it's very helpful. Okay, pretty good. Okay, that will do it for our, our finding files in Teams session. I'll see you next time.